Hello there Apps by viewers, my name is Peter and I've got a hands-on video for you, this time it is with Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest is a classic, there's no two ways about it really. Uh, it is a JRPG, one of the first JRPGs really, one of the first most successful JRPGs. Uh, and it was originally by Enix, and it was on the Famicom, and then it went to America to the NES as Dragon Warrior. And this is the first time it's been released in English as its original title, which, as I say, is Dragon Quest. This is an updated version. The NES version looks way rougher than this, so this is actually a pretty good uh, update, really, even though it might look quite basic to you. It certainly looks basic in comparison to Dragon Quest VIII, which has also come out on mobile. So, if you're not, you know, if you've not played a JRPG before, then this is... Uh, you know, this certainly lays down a lot of the groundworks of what the genre became and what it still is, really. So you're this hero, you give yourself a name. I've named him Zero, obviously, because I'm uh, I'm terrible like that. And then you go out on a quest. You go on a gigantic quest. Will there be dragons? Hmm, maybe there will. And I'm kind of looking around this castle at the moment, and the story begins by saying that, you know, there's the world's in trouble, the world's in peril, all this sort of thing. Uh, typical sort of traditional JRPG. And it's up to you to go out into the world and explore and hopefully bring peace uh, to the kingdom. And uh, I'm just wandering around at the moment. And as I explore and find new areas, I can kind of... Oh, here we are. Okay, we've got into a, into a battle. So here's, here's Draki. And all we need to do is select which option we want to choose. So I'm just going to continue to attack because I'm. This is level one. This is the you know, very start of the game, and uh, I've really only got attacks that I can pull out. You might see there that I've got HP, MP, and level. Hopefully, we're going to defeat Draki. Oh nuts! Oh, and we're dead. What a terrible, terrible beginning. Maybe I went too far. Maybe I got too cocky. So. Here we are, we're back uh, back at the uh, uh, original sort of area, and the king's saying, What is this, Brave Zero? Defeat doth ill become thee. Uh, and then some other sort of faux English, oldie English text. So basically what the game is doing is kind of saying to me, Well, that was kind of cool that you went out there and did all that stuff, but you probably went a little bit too far. You got a little bit too reckless. Uh, so don't do not do that again. And Dragon Quest as a series has always been known for its grind. And it, it you know, it's it's the same here, basically. Dragon Quest 1 has got grind in it. So I'm just going to kind of wander around until I get into a fight. Hopefully it'll be, yes, few, with a, a, a lower enemy. So this is a she slime. So the slimes are just classic. They are a classic design. Um from uh, from from JRPGs, and this is where they started. They started off in uh, Dragon Quest One, and the character designs you might kind of recognise as being quite anime, a little bit manga, and that's because the designer is uh, Yuji Horii, and the artist is Akira Toriyama, uh, and uh, Toriyama, of course, is famous for uh, the Dragon Ball series. So you'll, you'll notice that there's some design similarities here. So I'm, I'm kind of attacking these she slimes at the moment. I might also fight a, a blue slime at some point, which is just a, a normal slime. And the whole idea is that you're kind of building up experience, gaining levels, and uh, becoming, you know, more powerful gradually. So Zero's at level one at the moment. Oh yeah, Ooh, straight away managed to managed to kill him there. And we're just continuing to grind away. Hooray! Okay. How close are we to getting a new level? Uh, so, when whenever we do level up, we get more attack power, you know, more health, all of those good things. And we're, we're gaining gold at the moment. And one of the reasons that we want to gain gold is... Well, it means that we can wander into this inn and if we go to sleep like we're going to now then what this means is that we recover all of our health and we can go back out there and you know we don't get completely murked by bad guys 
and we can buy new weapons and all that good stuff and, and continue out on our quest. And that's it. This is Dragon Quest. That's how the game sets out. There's there's a story here. It's quite simple because, you know, it's it, it's an old game. It's from 1986, uh, back when games couldn't really do a whole bunch of incredible narrative stuff. But the mechanics here are absolutely rock solid. Aha, uh -huh, here we are. Level 2, so strength increased by 2, HP is increased by 7, and I've got some gold as well. So I'm stronger and I can take more damage as well. And this is the idea. It's it's a, a long grind. It's a long uh, story. There's all sorts of stuff to see and uh, different classes to uh, to get involved with and, uh, and, and different sort of areas to find. And I like it. I like what I've played thus far. It's very, very old school, and it's definitely for people who want to find out more about the history of JRPGs and to experience what they're like. But I think that that's a significant part of the gaming population, so you should probably check it out if you're a JRPG fan. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review. You decide.